Well, good afternoon. It's been a, a while since my last video, a fair few months. But we're out again. The weather's beautiful. I think the last time I was out it got down to about minus eight. Don't know that today. Um just waiting for Phil and Rich. I've got here a bit early. We're uh as you can see it's a bit busy in the middle of nowhere. So we're in Hornby or just outside of Hornby. That's Hornby Hill, up there, which is where the plan is for the camp tonight. It's uh, a nine mile route, I believe. But because we're doing like a big loop, we're, uh, we're only gonna take day packs for the walk, because we're just gonna be walking straight past back to where the cars are here. Uh, and then we'll be going up there, so we'll save the big packs for the big climb. She's good. So yeah, enjoying this, enjoying the weather, enjoying being out, enjoying the fresh air. Just waiting for the lunatics now, and then we'll be off. Richie's got wood! <laughs> yeah! Right, so we're three miles in now, and we're up to a, a big mast, which is very, very big. Goes all the way up there. Phil's just had a good idea. He said, keep watching, keep looking up at it while you're walking. Makes you feel drunk, so I didn't like it. And then the next question is, I wonder what temp pegs he used to hold it up. The answer to that is, big Ian's. Yeah. It's been a lovely day so far, lovely and warm. At least we've got a bit of a breeze up here now. But unfortunately, as I've said before, it's the moors, so there's not a massive amount to look at. Except a big mast. A what? A bait. A bait? Yeah. A bait what? A mast. A mast. <laughs> a bait. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best if I just keep walking. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> So we're nearly back at the car now and just when you crest the brow of the hill the cars are over there it's been boiling up all day ground's been solid as hell the only bit of bog dirty dirty yeah so hey ho i suppose it'll dry right onwards Right, so it's 20 to 7, we're all pitched up on Hornby Hill, 
I've got my new tent, new biggie in, which is a Blue Sky International Chinook 2. Mr. Jackson has the, the one person, but because I'm a bigger person, I need a bigger tent. <laughs> Maybe not this big, but there's plenty of room. As you can see, it's a total mess. I need to do some housekeeping, but, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Weighing in at just two kilos, getting all that space, width, height, length. That's a, a large X there, as you can see. A little bit of room at the head end. Mr. Jackson's got a new, new one to try. New winner. I've had the tent a while. Oh. Seek outside silver tip. Seek outside silver tip. The half inner. Nike wiki up half inner. It's not too bad. Yeah. Nice That's nice. Right um, Mr. Kavanagh's new purchase. Duplex. A duplex. Because Richie likes his duplexes. I've got a duplex. I've got a camo one. Yeah. They look like it's on an angle, but it's alright. <laughs> well, no, I'll just I'll just tilt the camera there. Anyway, it looks all right now. <laughs> right, so well, we've got all this sorted. I'm gonna tidy things up in there. It looks like we'll get some tea on. Delicious pot noodle. Mmm. Right, so because I don't manage my time properly, you've missed camp kitchen, basically. <laughs> I've boiled my water, got a lovely king pot sticky rib. I think it's the first one I've ever had by it. They're vegan, you know. Are they? Mm. There you are, I'm vegan now. Mr. Jackson raves on about them, so I thought I'd give it a try. Lovely lass, lovely. Uh, so, yeah. The reason that they're still cooking is because the reactor stove, especially in these temperatures, I think it took about two minutes and the water was boiling, so jobs are good and so I'm gonna Oh you've actually got food, not plastic food like you. And you uh, food. They've got real food. Not plastic. Food. Not plastic food. So I'm gonna wait my plastic food and enjoy the rest of the night. I'll probably catch you in the morning. from Hornby Hill. Well, I don't know whether it's because I was so drunk last night or just the fact I was tired, but I went to bed, laid my head down and woke up this morning. So it's probably the best night's sleep I've had for a while. So now it's the dreaded time to pack up, get off home. Don't like this bit. But I think we might be uh, stopping off in Copeland's get a sausage sandwich that always makes things better so see you again <laughs> 